So here, 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 boom, there's that clothesline. I'm being nice to Eric. You guys know I'd be putting that Kobo on that face. Once that happens, that tees that up for that nice hand. So don't think of this as like, ah, this is all I know to do. Think of it as just another tool, but you still want to be using those hands. You know what to do if somebody's about to smash you with a rock? Well, first thing first, make sure to get yourself a sweet brass Kobo from the Buddha Brothers. Use Kevin Goat for your discount code. Okay, so he put his hands up. He's about to smash me. His hand kind of came in first and boom, we're using our rear hand. So my right hand, because I'm right-handed, is pulling the Kobo out as I see the fear. He pulled the rock off of the other rock. I pulled my Kobo out because I'm just walking around with it because it fits in my pocket so well. So now what are we gonna use? We're gonna use the idea of trapping. I wanna control this arm. Okay, so before he could pull it back and smash me, he kind of set up, we got into range, and now I'm here and I'm controlling that. The Kobo is really nice for what are known in Wing Chun as like Fox out hits or karate, you see shooto strikes all the time, back fists, all these kinds of things, right? But with the Kobo, when you can just hold it and just roll it into the fingers here, right? Now you're hitting and you wanna make sure to hit with that part. What I like about it is I can also throw fists. We're gonna do a whole bunch of drills to get you guys better at this stuff too. So I'm Pox out here. Eric in the demo then took his left hand, he cleared this and he smashed. It's at this point here he can still use his other hand. Is deadly force necessary at this point? Well, who knows, right? He could kill you here. So that comes in, Pox out back, this clear hit. So that one hit, and this is where I love it, right? Trapping always gets knocked for That hit's not gonna do enough damage. Why don't you just train boxing? Boxing's more powerful. I completely agree with you guys. So how do I make a weak hit better? I put a piece of brass in my hand that's gonna do some damage. So I hit him from here, I hit him from here, and do I keep on going? Is he still in the fight? Well, it depends on how good those strikes are, right? He comes in here, he gets here, and I miss. And I hit into the collarbone. That's not gonna stop him. It might prevent that arm from coming he still has another arm he can still bite me he can still do some weird shit so that might maybe break the collarbone so i continue to hit i continue to smash and i keep on going and going and having forward energy and forward aggression and i'm not going to sit here and do this kind of stuff right that you guys are kind of maybe used to seeing in the martial arts world they're like you hit him here you break his elbow you pull this in you hit him here you grab the wrist again then you go for wrist lock technique and you take him down like come on guys come on you're making martial arts look bad, right? But tell people that this might work. Might being the keyword there. What happens after this, you don't know. This is where it gets ugly. If you have more training, your percentage of scoring the next hit is gonna get higher. What happens after that point? What if he's already swinging the rock at me? Do I disengage? Do I have to go back and do something else? All those things can take place, but let's get you better at the Kobo. So the rock's away, because you don't want to mess your friend up just in case, okay? So his guard is up. I want you to train to step in and bring that pox out hand forward. This pox out is everything. Pox out, back fist, pox out, fox out, pox out, whatever you want to call it. You're using your whole body to come in, especially if you're smaller. I'm bigger, but I still train like I'm a tiny little person so that I can train to use my structure, not my muscle. So I come to here. Notice here he has blocked it. And most people want to block a big piece of brass coming at their face. And even if it's not, it's just a back fist. They're not going to like it. This is where your trapping has to come in. That pox out hand is going to clear. And then you want it to shoot up here right away. Okay. As you bring it up here, you're going to rip that down. That's called a lops out or grabbing hand. At the same time, this hand comes forward. So you're clearing that slow-mo. Bang, 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 or I like to say in my studio, bing, bong, bing, bong, because then it helps you think bing, left hand, bong, right hand, not bong. Okay, so here and then go to hit, right? Lots of things can come after this, but that's your base entry. Okay, so bing, bong, bing, bong. So how you wanna get better at learning to recycle your arms, make sure to train both rolls. Eric right now, bing, bong, clear. He's gonna give me another bing I gotta deal with. Now I get him, right? So clear hit, watch his right hand. His right hand's gonna quonsa, or it's called recycle. I'm gonna clear this, he's gonna bring that one up. Then what do I have again? Pucks out and hit. 
Don't just hit once though. Get in the habit of like good boxing combos, hitting twice, hitting three times. So here I hit once, I hit twice, I hit three times. He's gonna block the next one. He blocks this one. I hit once, I hit twice, I hit three times. Get used to following up those strikes. Now let's do some fancy stuff because it feels cool. I block, I come here, he's here, he blocks this. This means that this dude can trap. He's pushing it into me even, right? So this, I'm gonna get crushed. Second I do that, boom, uppercut to the moon. Overhand strike, back, boom. Notice how I changed my hammer fist right there. If I was boxing, that would have been overhand in my world, but because I have the Kobo in my hand, oh man, that would hurt a lot. So I'm here, 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 he defends, dink. Slow mo so you guys can see what I'm doing. Apparently I'm all about those deep <laughs> sound effects today. This hand is here, it's gonna hit. I love this concept, okay? This concept is my hand is closer to his face than his own hand. So if I follow him retreating or pulling that arm back, I just redirect my hand to be able to hit. What happens after that again, who knows? But it could work, could being the keyword. I can also come to here. Now my left hand is gonna grab this elbow. Again, I'm relying on him pushing into me. So he pushes, my left hand finds the elbow. I'm gonna move it this way. So same idea, grabbing hand, talks out, lops out-ish. And basically it's almost wrestling, right? With my Kobo, I'm just pulling. This hand really isn't doing too much. It's just redirecting and feeling this arm, okay? This sets up the clothesline, okay? So you have to be able to move them. Everybody, for the smaller people, for you guys, if you can't move them, move yourself and run away. Got you covered, don't you guys worry, okay? So here, 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 boom! There's that clothesline. I'm being nice to Eric, you guys know I'd be putting that Kobo on that face. Once that happens, that tees that up for that nice hand. So don't think of this as like, ah, this is all I know to do. Think of it as just another tool, but you still wanna be using those hands. So hands are in, here, here, clear, smash. Woo -woo. That one would've hurt a whole bunch. Let's say he gets in closer. Boom, I'm here, boom. I can elbow, I can elbow, he turns. He's gonna sit into that stuff, there's lots there, okay? But 95% of you don't know what a poxo is, like Eric does. He's gonna probably grab, grab, grab. He grabs, oh shit, my trapping doesn't work. I can't get out of my hand, it's hard, right? All the Aikido people are like, yes, finally, he's grabbing. Grab his hand, boom, I do my center lock technique, you okay, right? I'm here, I come this way, maybe I, oh, I got out of the arm, he was nice to me, right? He's holding on, right? I'm turning, now I can get into my arm bars and different things, maybe. I'm just giving you options for what if they grab. Pox out, he grabs again. I like punching people. So my elbow's gonna come high. I'm gonna rip that guy down. I'm gonna come back with my back fist. There's my karate strike. There's my foxo. There's my back fist training. Jeet Kune Do, I got you covered too, guys. Smash, smash, smash. Boom. Do you like kicking or not? I don't know, right? I kind of like kicking, especially because it's nice outside. All right, I hit him back. Boom, I kick him there. Whack. I come back and I hit like... Flow, play with it. Don't force yourself to do one thing because you have a weapon in your hand. That's why these things are awesome because it can hit this way, it can hit this way. You can still use your noxes if you train with them. So it's time to go train your ass off. Stay safe. Thanks for watching the video. You're obviously very dedicated towards your practice of self-defense, but there's only so much that you can learn from a quick couple minute videos. And this is why the Buddha brothers and I spent some serious time and effort and put together a very, very high quality product available on buddhabrothers.com. It covers all the ranges of martial arts and everything that you need to do in order to be better at your self-defense. But what it also does is it walks you through how to train it, how to train it by yourself, how to train it with a partner so that you're actually building the skills and the attributes needed for self-defense. Yes, watching the quick videos and the shorts can do a lot, but if you really want to take a deep dive and learn a lot about self-defense, this is why we made this course for you. So make sure you train your ass off. Stay safe.